What is good, Greg Gang? We're here today, and I actually got a brand new fishing combo. Now, here it is right here. It's approximately eight foot long. It's a Toyota, and it has three ball bearings. I bought the combo just because, well, you can't just fish with a rod. You gotta have a reel, you know? Right now, it's got approximately 148 pound test. And as for the action, I'd give it a medium medium, and it's got a parabolic bend, which is crucial when you're fighting those giant turtles, especially the ones the size of a bathtub. That's what we're talking about. Now, the cool thing about this rod is it was on a buy one, get one free, you boys. I got two of them. And we're about to set these Toyotas right over here in this pond. Now, there has been one confirmed sighting of a turtle in here, and that's their sole purpose for today. We're gonna catch that sucker. Now, for bait and everything, we're going with the good old fat back there. It always works, except last time. Hey, get out. Get off my Toyota. But like I said, guys, we got these two poles. They're very simple bank pole designs not exactly a lot went into them but basically what we're gonna do is put a piece of fat back on the hooks jab them in the side of the bank let them dangle over and whenever the turtle decides he's hungry he'll go up eat it we'll catch him we'll come back later in the day and we'll capture it. Now there is going to be one problem, which it was my problem last year with this pond. There's also a lot of catfish. Like there's probably 15 catfish for every one turtle in here. Which means we can get on an unlucky stroll and instead of catching turtles, we could just catch catfish. Which is still fun, guys. We just can't eat them. So I'm going to go ahead, put on the GoPro, and well yeah, we're going to set these poles. That way I don't waste any more time. And we're also going to do a little bass fishing while we're out here at the pond. So here we go, guys. I just got, I don't know, probably, if this is an 8 foot rod, it's probably got 8 foot of line on and then with this right here it's just a small hook small hooks will catch all the turtles and with this piece of fat back just gonna run it through there a couple times that way it's not gonna fall off that way they have to eat it good that way before you know you catch them and then here we go right up on the pond bank i'm just gonna jab this thing in and let that let the bait the fat back preferably dip in like three inches because because what i've made in it is i've made a little knot up here it's like a slip knot so whenever they pull on it it's just gonna slip out and give more line that way instead of going around and checking all the lines i can just look and see it oh my gosh little man over here is trying to eat the end of my stick that's potter he's over here trying to chew on the end of my cane pole but with this knot basically what i'm saying is if the knot is still there i know that something's not on it so i'm just gonna come down here to the end jab this thing in the bank and uh <clears throat> that's harder than i thought right there we got the first one set now we got one more that should be two poles for this little pond that should be plenty as long as potter don't decide to go swimming and try to eat the fat back which i don't think he will because he's a big potter he's trying to chew on the stick again leave it alone i mean it's not hot outside yet it's good temperature everything potter's having a blast over here look at him look what a bagel look at it he can't even see me and i don't even think he cares oh there you go got him yeah man that's what i'm talking about big bass early in the morning not even caught a turtle yet i've done the same thing i do every single time i fish a frog guys throw it up on the bank then drag it off it looks a whole lot more natural and it doesn't spook the bass that are waiting on it Woo! oh man that's a good one he'd actually been caught before man what a tank popped it three times before and he smashed it there we go guys i think this is probably one of the ones i caught at the lake i mean his tail is bloody he's got that tail still worn out he's kind of thin which may mean well I don't know. Now let's just see if we can get a turtle like that. We'll be in good shape. Potter over here, he thinks that fish smells funny. Sniff it up, big boy. Sniff it up. He may be a fish dog one day. I don't know. Maybe able to smell the musk off of him. Okay, guys, it's been about eight hours since I first set those cane poles. And before I check them or anything, I just want to tell you what's happened to me today. Okay, so first things first, I watched Moana for the first time. Honestly, guys, it has to be one of the best movies ever, not in line. I cried like three times. It wasn't sad tears. It was inspirational tears. And another cool thing that happened to me today is that I literally went to the end of the rainbow. Spoiler alert, there was no gold. You know, me and Potter out here. Potter's still sniffing the same piece of ground he was eight hours ago, but we're not gonna judge him. You can look at this one right here and you can definitely tell something's been eating on it, but we're just gonna say it was bluegill. Because whenever Big Turtle hits it, he's gonna swallow it and he's gonna swallow it down. He's not gonna take nips at it. He's gonna take it all at once and he's gonna go straight to the bottom. But as for these poles, guys, here's what we're gonna do. Instead of pulling them out, because it is the end of the day, I'm actually gonna leave these poles in here, even though if it takes a week, I'm gonna leave them in there until I catch a turtle. So the next time you'll see me, I'll have a turtle. See you whenever I get a turtle, people. And speaking of rainbows, guys, there's one right now. Bro, it's a double rainbow. See, you got one, and then you got another one over here that's not as vibrant, but still pretty vibrant. And, bro, like, look at all these bugs. Are you kidding me, bro? Like, bro, get out of my way. When was the last time you saw a rainbow? I got the full arch. See, it comes over here. It goes behind the clouds a little bit, but then it comes back down. That's one of the few times I've actually seen the full arch. That is really cool. That's a full rainbow right there. But, yeah, guys, that's something I want to hear from y'all. When's the last time y'all saw a rainbow? Because I just saw, like, four in like the last three minutes apparently 
Okay guys, it's the next day out here with these cane poles and we've actually got some on both of them But I'm not like I said yesterday. I'm not exactly sure if they're both turtles. Yeah, it's fighting real hard Oh my gosh, looks like this one's got a little catfish on it, but that catfish is still fighting hard, dude Look at him pull that cane pole Gosh, look at him pull it whip that cane pole down there He's not a big catfish and it looks like the knot actually knotted up, but look at him pull I'll go ahead and take this guy off there then rebate it with some fat back So you're looking for turtles here, aren't you? Yeah, we're looking for turtles how much is he waking? We're not looking for a catfish. This one's actually not too bad. Not a big guy, but a, a guy, I guess. I'll come back later and reset this with some... Uh, Poor job. And it looks like I'm going to have to put some new line on. And now onto this one. It's a lot bigger. Whatever it is, I'm not sure yet, but... Yeah. Oh! That's a pole bender. A pole bender. Pole bender. He's a tree shaker. Look at him. Look at him pulling my cane pole. Oh, that's a good one. <laughs> Give him my fair, Evan. That's a big one. He's got a big old fat mouth and everything. Fat back's still in there, too. We'll just reset it. Yeah, there we go. Just toss that dude right back in there. We're not after these guys. We're after some big turtles. But, as you see right here, he didn't even eat all the fat back. So I'm just going to reset it just like this. What's it going to hurt, guys? And besides that, guys, we'll see you back later whenever I catch a turtle. Even though it may be the next day, it may be this evening, maybe a week from now. But whenever I catch something else, I'll get back to it. Okay, guys, it's actually day three for these cane poles. Now, for today, the other one didn't have anything on it. But this one right here, the line is actually strung over here to the bank, which could mean a turtle has got on it and, you know, tried to climb out of the bank. We've definitely got something. I just don't know what it is yet. Whatever it is, it's definitely hung up in all this grass. So it may be a turtle, but it also may not be anything. You never know. Oh, no, baby. It's the turtle. Yes, we got him. He's not as big as I thought he was, but we definitely got the turtle. That's what we're after, guys. That's what we're after. First turtle of the season. Now, this guy's not very big at all, actually. Pretty small one, but he is a turtle, and I mean, that was what we were after. We might eat this guy. Here he is right there. You know, a lot of people say don't hold him up by the tail, and that is true, except for little ones. They don't weigh enough to hurt their tail, so you can hold him up by their tail all day long. But yeah, guys, there we go. That's a little snapping turtle right there. He's not a monster, as you can tell, but he can definitely do some damage if he would get a hold of my toe or something. So I'm going to back up from him a little bit, give him a little bit of space. And I tell you what, guys, I think what we're going to do is this, guys, we finally got to see snapping turtle we're gonna do a kitchen cook. however in order to do a kitchen cook with a snapping turtle you don't eat it the same day you actually have to let it soak in water for like a week to get all the mud and dirt and moss stuff out of his meat so that's exactly what we'll do right now we'll go ahead get this guy situated and everything get him being cleaned out and everything and before we know it we'll be out here we'll be skinning this guy up and eating him and here we are great gang we got the turtle he's in the bucket he ain't going nowhere got him right over here beside the pool pond if you're wondering guys for the pool pond i've not done an update in a little while it's doing perfectly fine everybody's okay nobody's died yet yet amazingly and they're eating good they're eating everything i put in there with them however for about a week we're gonna have mr turtle over here and here in about a week we'll do a catch and cook video with him okay guys so it's actually the next day and we have a little bit of a problem so as y'all know i started out the chicken flock we had 13 chickens well now one's it's 12 yep one died but not just died it has been destroyed so then i look over here oh what's this Half the containment's broken down. We have had an intruder. Possibly an endo rack. But probably just a cook. But after further inspection, you can definitely see, okay, a chicken down over here. He has got over here and he has slayed that sucker. And then whenever you look at it, you can see that he's came right down here, right across here, looked in, saw a chicken laying there, decided he wanted it, climbed up here, climbed up the side, pulled this down, and then right here you got the footprints, guys. If that's not an endo rafter, I don't know what it is. Like for real, guys, that right there's the track. Here's an endo rafter. You tell me. You tell me what you think. I'm just calling it how I see it, guys. But he even climbed way up here with his dirty little... Bro, he went up there. He climbed on the roof. He climbed on the roof. I mean, we're probably going to set a trap here in a day or two. Definitely going to set a trap here in a day or two. As for now, hopefully these 12 guys will be all right. But we're definitely going to set a trap. And we're going to take care of that dude. This is, this is unacceptable out here. We are not going to let this keep happening, are we, Cluck Norris? This week's verse of the week is coming out of Luke 1.37, and it says, For with God, nothing shall be impossible. And I mean, it is just like it says, guys. If you have God in your life, and if you have God backing up whatever you're trying to do, nothing is impossible without God. Never say never, I guess. God created everything, and he can literally make anything happen. No matter how crazy it may sound, he can, he can do anything. But anyways, guys, just go ahead and hit the like button for me. Subscribe if you're not already. And besides that, guys, I'm sorry for the short video, but yeah, I'm... Bye, bye. See, see you next video, I guess. See you Monday. Yeah. Thanks for watching, Gentleman Gray. Be sure to turn the notifications on. Subscribe and smash that like button. That's all I gotta say. Bye.